right, uh, Brian, obviously a huge punt return there late in the game. What did you see on that play? Um, I was actually debating whether to call a fair catch or not, but um, I said, whatever, I'll just give it a shot. Um, as soon as I caught it, I made one guy miss, and the coach always says that I make one guy miss, uh, guys are going to do their job, open up the hole, and there's a hole, a big hole, and I just tried to take it to the house, but... Uh, how, how satisfied was he for you to score the touchdown? Three yeah, I felt good. Uh, I felt like uh, a little rejuvenated after that. I was a little down on myself, but I worked it out. <laughs> now, uh, the first half, the offense didn't seem to be moving the ball that well. Was it something they were doing differently, or was it something that no, we were doing? No, Coach got on us at halftime. Uh, we, he was saying that we weren't going full speed, and I agree with him. Uh, we got to go out and execute every single play like it's our last. He says that every, every single day. You never know when he's going to stop playing. So uh, we got to run 100% of the time. No matter what, no matter how tired you are, we're a fast offense. So uh, we came out the second half fired up, and uh, just like last week, we turned it on a little bit. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. All right, Jorge, boy, you know how to start a game, huh? Let's talk about the uh, the uh, kickoff return. I mean, uh, we, we called that. We called my favorite, my favorite return, it's Connor. And, um, you know, uh, I, I got to give a shout out to my return team. They did, they did their job. All I could do is just take off with the ball and do the best. And, and, Coach Moorhead called it, said it was going to happen, and it happened. Now, when's the last time you returned a kickoff for a touchdown? Uh, I can't even remember. It was in high school. Thanks, Thanks. I don't, I don't all right, Coach, it wasn't easy, but uh, you got the job done. Um, what happened in the first half? Did the offense just didn't seem to get on track? Ah, there were, there's um, you know, no stop points. So I thought we moved the ball okay, but, you know, they did a good job. You know, they did some things schematically to keep the ball inside and in front. And, uh, you know, we had a difficult time picking up some of the pressures, but, you know, we went in halftime, made some adjustments, and uh, came out and were able to move the ball in the second half. Now, defensively, obviously, you look at the, you're going to look at the number of yards they rushed for, yeah, but it was three big was. plays. Um, what happened in those three big plays? Uh, you, with a team like this, they run a lot of gap schemes, they run a lot of misdirection. you got to have great eye discipline and stay in your gaps. And it was just an episode where they run a split zone and we got out of our gaps. And, uh, and the kid's a heck of a runner. I mean, he's, he's not the fourth leading rusher in the country for, for no reason. They do a good job coaching him, and the kid's an excellent player. And, you know, I thought outside of those three runs and the one long pass, I thought the defense did an excellent job. Now, obviously, special teams played a big part today with the kickoff return and the punt return. Yeah. Um, Talk about special teams today. Oh, it's a third of the game. It's huge. And, uh, you know, we talk about our weekly goals being to score, set up a score, and we did both on the, on the opening kickoff return and then the punt return. So, uh, you know, we have to continue to win games on special teams and, uh, you know, positively impact the game like we've been doing. Coach Sutsky's been doing a good job with those units. We devote a lot of attention to them during the week in practice. So we need to – and Michael's been kicking, kicking the ball well, so we got to continue, continue down that path. Right. Thanks, Coach. Bye-bye.